One year on since the first cases of coronavirus were discovered in the UK, hospitals in Scotland are still dealing with the devastating impact of the virus. Covid wards like this one in Hairmyres are still treating just under 100 patients and senior charge nurse Julie Breen says the type of people coming through the doors has significantly changed. Having spoken to the girls who worked through the first wave, they certainly feel that the patients we're seeing just now are much sicker, um, they're much younger, um, and certainly we're finding a lot of the patients that we're seeing in discharging are being readmitted to hospital quite quickly, just to make me think we're getting on top of their COVID. Um, they seem to be kind of having a second admission with it, so that's certainly a challenge that we're trying to, to address just now. Despite half of all patients in Lanarkshire's hospitals being treated for COVID, nurses say things could have been much worse if current lockdown measures weren't imposed. Would you expect this hospital to look slightly different if the lockdown measures weren't put back in place at the beginning of January? Absolutely. I think we'd be overwhelmed um, by patients um, coming through our front doors. I think the intensive care units and critical care units would be overwhelmed if lockdown measures hadn't been put in place. And I think because of that, we've managed to keep... Um, beds available, we've managed to keep social distancing and our patients safe and keep the patients separated um, and have COVID and non-COVID areas for our patients. Um, and I think that has been a result of the lockdown measures that were put in place at the beginning of January. Medics here in Lanarkshire are telling us they feel the second wave has been prolonged as they started to deal with it as early as October. Despite cases starting to stabilise now here at Hairmyres, they say they're still operating at over 100% capacity in critical care, at times reaching 200%. A quarter of all patients in this hospital right now are COVID patients. One of them is 52-year-old Denise O'Donnell. Denise lives in Hamilton with her husband. Her 74-year-old mum had also moved in with them over Christmas. Denise was due to start chemotherapy after being diagnosed with cancer, so had been doing everything she could to keep herself safe. It was everything that I had tried to avoid. It was over Christmas, over New Year, I got my shopping delivered. I didn't go to the shops. If I could avoid it, uh, we were really making a real effort to keep safe because I had only started chemotherapy and immunotherapy. So I knew the risks if I caught this, but how I caught it, I thought I was doing everything right. I hand sanitised, I wore my mask, you know, I kept back fake crowds and I, I still caught it. Day one and maybe up to day four, I kind of have lost track because I was pretty ill at a high temperature. I uh, was very sick. Um, I'm now at day 14. What I'm having is autoimmune problems caused by COVID and my, my pre-existing condition. Uh, so COVID has actually caused more problems internally for me. Um, so it might be, the cough might be going away, the breathing might be getting better, but it is still carrying on its damage. The waiting area in accident and emergency used to have 40 chairs. Now there's just six. Beds in the department are also being deliberately kept empty due to the amount of patients they expect to come through the doors by the evening. Staff there tell us they're feeling exhausted 10 months on from when the pandemic began. What we're maybe struggling with a little bit more is, is fatigue. I think everybody's physically tired, but also mentally tired, emotionally tired from this ongoing battle that we're having with COVID. Uh, so certainly we've got the staff numbers, we've got resources, uh, we've got determination uh, to provide that care, but yeah, everyone's, everyone's pretty tired if I'm honest. The British military, if they're sent away uh, to combat zone, so their tour of duty would be six months. Uh, we've been on the front line here for, for 10 months. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty tired. There are currently six COVID patients in the intensive care unit here in Hairmyres, with over 20 COVID patients in ICU across the three Lanarkshire hospitals. Nurses here tell us how they've stayed safe while at work for the last 10 months, despite dealing with an extremely contagious virus. I think, I think at first we were all very frightened. There is no denying that. We were all really, really frightened. And of course you worry about taking it home to your family and infecting other people, that, that's what was the most frightening. Um, but I think we developed sort of our ways very quickly and we're super careful, like we're all very, very careful. Um, and I think we've just kind of adapted to it really. Yeah, we did a lot of practicing, um, putting on and taking off the PPE, didn't we? So I think by the time we actually had to 
I use it with patients, people are pretty confident. And again, like in intensive care, we've been very lucky mm -hmm. um, at the start. Um, you know, there's a bit of concern there maybe wasn't going to be enough PPE, but that's never been the case for us in this hospital in intensive care, that we've always had enough PPE. Yeah. So that, that gives the staff like a, a, a lot of comfort. And I think as time has gone on, um, you know, what's happened is you know, we've had all these months and, we, and we've not had members of staff yep. who've contracted the virus from work as far as we're aware. So clearly that's very comforting. Everyone at the hospital agreed sticking to the rules has had a huge impact on the number of patients they've seen in their wards and hope to see a difference in the number of admissions over the coming weeks as lockdown measures remain in place.